Today, we're going to talk about a mineral that most Americans are woefully short on. Stay tuned, everybody. Hey everyone, and welcome to the Buckleberry Natural Health Moment. I'm your host, Jim Miller, founder and CEO of Buckleberry Premium Natural Supplements and certified master herbalist. Give me a couple minutes of your day, and I'll give you key insights, tips, and tricks to help you on your journey down the natural path to well being. And before we get started, make sure and hit the like and subscribe button so you always know when I put out new content. Now, with that, I want to talk about this mineral I made mention of that most Americans are very deficient in, and that's simply magnesium. Magnesium is a mineral that's so crucial to many of our body's functions. It's, it's big on brain health, muscles, bones. It helps keep us regular. Uh, it's good for, for muscle cramps. It's good to prevent headaches, calms our nerves, helps us sleep. Uh, magnesium does so much for us. And like I said, a lot of Americans are just short on it. They don't get enough magnesium. Now, if you're chronically short on magnesium, that can lead to an increased risk in high blood pressure, heart disease, uh, bone problems, a lot of things. So it's really important to just make sure that, that you're getting enough magnesium. Now, regardless of what we're going to talk about, what herb, what mineral, et cetera, the best way to get things, uh, in my opinion, in your body is through your diet. And so a good diet is key to all of this. Supplements are great, but they, they're just supplements. They should be supplementing a healthy diet. Now, in terms of food that's bit, you know, help, big on magnesium, um, almonds, quinoa, black beans, avocado, um, dark and, uh, uh, vegetables, leafy green vegetables, those types of things. Now, what I would recommend to you is just Google, you know, whole foods or natural foods high in magnesium. And then on that list, you could figure out what you do and don't like to eat and just make sure you're getting enough of that in your diet. Now, beyond the, 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 the natural foods, sometimes we do need a little extra. We need a supplement and you can certainly supplement with magnesium. People get a little afraid on magnesium because if you go into like a typical health food store, there's like five, six kinds of magnesium on the shelf. And it's like, what is going on here? Um, the three I'm going to talk about and the three I'm going to highly recommend are the three most absorbable forms of magnesium. And that's magnesium glycinate, magnesium malate, and magnesium l 3 innate Like I said, there's oxide and sterate and there's all these kinds of magnesium, but you, you really want to look at glycinate, malate, and uh, l 3 innate um, magnesium glycinate, I want to start off with that. I'm actually current take, currently taking magnesium glycinate. That's this one. Um, I like Solaray brand. There's plenty of options out there. It's not the only one that, that you can go with, but I trust Solaray. Um, magnesium glycinate is just a great all-around magnesium. It's a little more calming, so it's one you want to take at night. Um, again, great about 30 minutes before bed. Um, but like I said, very absorbable form of magnesium, and it's just a good all-around magnesium. Another option, and this would be one if you like to work out and you sweat a lot, and that's magnesium malate, another really highly absorbable form of magnesium. Magnesium malate is especially good for muscles, muscle cramps. It's energizing. It's a little more stimulating. If you get magnesium malate, I'd probably recommend taking that in the morning. I mean, I've had people say, can I, can I do both? Can I do magnesium malate and, and glycinate? Sure you can. Take the malate in the morning, glycinate at night. If you overdose on magnesium, it's not catastrophic. Um, you're just going to be sitting on the toilet. It's going to loosen your stools. I guess it could be catastrophic, but um, you know, if that happens, you just back off your dose. That's all. So magnesium malate is really stimulating, really good for those who like to work out. And then the third form I'm going to highlight is magnesium L3 and 8. Now this magnesium, if you go into a health food store, most of the time you'll see the magnesiums and all their forms in the mineral section. Magnesium L3 and 8 is usually in the brain section, and that's because magnesium L3 and 8, even though it does all the other stuff, all the magnesiums do good for your bones, good for your muscles, keeps you regular. Magnesium L3 and 8 crosses the blood brain barrier. So it's very good for cognition, a memory, uh, good against you know, foggy brain, that type of thing. So magnesium L3 and 8 is really, really good, especially for your brain. So um, those are three forms. They are the most absorbable. They're also the three most expensive, but they're really worth it. So, um, you know, if you need that extra help, that extra supplementing, I'd recommend looking at either glycinate, malate, or l 3 and 8 And again, make sure you're getting uh, a, most of your magnesium from your diet. Well, that's all for today. We're out of time. I really appreciate you tuning in. Uh, and then always remember at Buckleberry, we believe that the best wealth is your health. And so until next time, so long, everybody. <music>